Good morning and Om Shanti to all of you listeners and for the new listeners have a look at the link above and go ahead and learn flexibility through yoga asanas meditation we shared it over here and the, your diet and also sleep patterns everything is mentioned over there have a look over there so let's go ahead with today's vardhan 190th day of your vardhan where god the father actually tells us what exactly is the meaning or the spiritual meaning of hanuman in the so called hindu mythology what is the meaning of hanuman where is that lanka was it there and is, or is it still there we're going to explore all those things and how to become a real hanuman of god that means somebody who has god in his heart and not other people and not the property and not the wealth in their heart so baba says in today's blessing may you be victorious and a conqueror of maya maya we understand what is maya maya means lust anger greed ego attachment jealousy this is there in a male also in a human male with a physical body of a man and it is there in a female also a female also has lustful thoughts lust anger greed ego attachment so is there in both so god says irrespective of whether you are a male body or a female body you are a soul and all of you souls are suffering from impurities and god is a purifier so that is what is the depiction of ravan over here that's why ravan has been shown with 10 heads so 5 5 each and nobody can have 10 heads actually 10 heads somebody who has 10 heads would have how many feet how many legs think about it so that is a depiction of some negativity or a positivity just like we show durga ma or we show kali with so many hands it doesn't mean somebody has got so many hands if so many hands are there obviously there should be that many legs right but the hands are a symbol of power or knowledge or spiritual energy or spiritual powers which we need to understand which we learn about in brahma kumaris so baba says they have shown the speciality of hanuman as being a constant server and mahavir so hanuman ji has rama in his heart and is always shown doing good service true service with his heart so god says speciality of hanuman being a constant server and mahavir mahavir means he is not somebody who takes that javelin who takes that bhala and he hits around people who are bad that's what we learned from these stories that's what we learned that we have to kill those people who are bad people you have to hurt those people you have to hit them you have to slap them you have to box them who are bad people cause is that's not what we learn from hanuman we learned that we have to kill the negativity within you have to kill the impurities within you have to kill the lust the anger the greed and the ego and jealousy within then only rama or god the father will stay within us now what is rama and ramchandra there are two different things over here we are talking about see just like you have edward the one edward the two edward the three edward the four or king henry one king henry two king henry three king henry four right in england right similarly over here in the hindu mythology or we call about we know that lakshmi and narayan or shri ram chandra we know about shri krishna there were eight shri krishnas that's why we call it as krishna ashtami so they were shri krishna one shri krishna two shri krishna three shri krishna four shri krishna five that means there were eight kings who were under the dynasty like henry one henry two so shri krishna one two three four till 8 that was shri lakshmi narayan 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and then they handed over the complete throne and they handed over the crown to the next king and after that came shri ram chandra 1 and till 12 nobody knows about this that there were 12 shri ram chandras just like there four king henry the five or uh, five or uh, four hint edwards similarly over here the dynasty went along till 12 shri ram chandras and then came dwapar yuga so all these have to be set right so god talks about that in this case this is why he himself did not get burnt so baba says that you become a mahavir you you are somebody who finds victory over lust anger greed ego attachment and then you become a mahavir and over here baba talks about that shri krishna and shri ramachandra they were a dynasty so Shri Ramachandra is separate and Rama is separate. So Hanuman has been shown to have Shri Ramachandra, but actually Hanuman is the Mahavir or the divine being who had God Rama in his mind, the supreme being, the supreme soul who is a point of light. Shri Ramachandra is separate and Rama is separate. They are two different entities. So Shri Ramachandra are the physical beings who were the kings, the emperor, and the empress, and the king and the queens on earth a couple of thousand of years back. So. we are talking about having god in a heart 
Baba over here talks about the same Hanuman who had God in his heart. It's a depiction or a symbol of those souls who have God in their heart and nobody else means not a person, not the children, not the family members, not the property, not the money, not the jewelry and not the buildings which they have, that is not in their heart. So Baba says this is why he himself did not get burnt when he burned the whole of Lanka with his tail. Why? Because he had God in his heart. Getting burnt means what? We get tired, right? I am burnt today. That's what we say. Burnt means tired of what? Tired of weakness within. So I can get burnt because of anger, greed, ego, jealousy, mood off, swings, sadness. A person gets burnt. A person gets drained out. So God says, burn off those vices within you. Don't burn the Lanka. Lanka, Lanka is a symbol of an island. If you find out the meaning of Lanka, Lanka means island. So 70% is water, 30% is island, right? On earth. So all everywhere you go, all the whole of the earth, if you go to America, if you go to Australia, if you go to Russia, if you go to South Africa, every human being has got vice within them. Every human being has got lust, anger, greed, ego attachment within them. So that means the whole of the earth has become a Lanka, where everybody has become like a Rakshas or a, or a demon. So when you have anger within you, you look like a demon, right? When you have greed within you, you look like a demon. How does your face look? You like, I want that. So that's what God talks about, that everybody has become Ravan. People have so much of knowledge about the scriptures. They have mugged up the whole of the shlokas and everything. But there's ego within. I have so much of knowledge or I'm better than that person. Or we try to put the other person down by showing that I've got so much of scripture, knowledge of the scriptures. I have learned all the shlokas. But within there is ego of that knowledge or there's, or there's anger of that knowledge if somebody doesn't listen to you. So God says even... even Ravan has been shown to have that ego and jealousy and anger and he wanted more, he desired more and more and more even though he knew God or he had the Shastras and the knowledge. So God is talking about that Ravan. So every human being has become a Ravan. That's why Ravan has got 10 heads. So lust, anger, greed, ego, attachment in a man and lust, anger, greed, ego, attachment in a woman. So every human being is Ravan and the whole of the earth, every soul in the earth on earth has got those satanic or Ravanic thoughts even though if they are religious people, but still they have those thoughts. That's why the whole of the earth is Lanka or the land mass is Lanka. Now, how do we burn that Lanka? Burning that Lanka doesn't mean you destroy another city or another country. Burning the Lanka means you destroy the impurities within souls with this divine knowledge. So with the power of meditation, with the power of this knowledge, you help other souls to burn the vices within them. That is what it means to burn a Lanka. Now, Hanumanji has been shown with a tail. So we also have tales of thoughts, right? That person did this with me. That person said this to me. That person has done this with me. That is my property. He's taken my property. That is my money. That is my jewelry. That Those are my clothes. We have a tale of attachments of thoughts. So he burned those first. That's why the tale has been shown as being burnt. And by burning those, that means the, burn, the tale which was burned through that tale of our attachment to things, we can burn the impurities within us of lust, of anger, of greed, of jealousy, because if we have this is mine, that is mine, that is everything is mine, that's where ego and jealousy and greed and everything comes up, right? So if you burn the tail, that's the symbolism of spirituality of Hanumanji. So if you burn that tail of all those things which we think is ours, then oh, we'll become lighter in our mind and we can help other souls also to burn those vices within them and finish off the Ravan Raj, that means finish off the impurity kingdom in Kalyug. That's why this is Kalyug. Because this is Ravan Raj. So God says, those who are not servers cannot burn Maya's kingdom. If you don't help other souls to remove lust, anger, greed, or ego attachment, then you yourself cannot take it out. That's why we say that Dan Do. That means if you give away something, then you attain more of it. So we give away money, we give away clothes, we think that okay, by donating, we'll get more from God. God says, give away lust, give away anger, jealousy, ego. That is what has brought you down. It's not about giving away money. Give away these vices and all those grahan of Rahu and Ketu, which we think about, that will be removed from your life. So God says, one Rama always resides in Hanuman's heart. Only one Rama means only one God, not the Ramachandra over here. So therefore, let there not be anyone except the one father in your heart. 
we have so many people in our heart we have money we have property we have a list of things in our heart where is one god in our heart right so god says remove that first and keep only one god in your heart not even the awareness of your own body this is my body i am looking good i am beautiful i have got money i am fairer i am darker i am taller i am short all that has to be body conscious or the ego of the body has to be removed not even the awareness of your own body for only then will you become a conqueror of maya maya means lust dying of greed ego attachment jealousy and be victorious and become peaceful and happier and blissful so god wants us to understand the spiritual meaning of hanuman and the rama and the difference between rama rama and ramachandra physical being non physical being rama that's where you see guru granth sahib also has mentioned rama so rama they are calling not the ramachandra they also talk about god as rama in their different uh, songs spiritual songs rama is supreme god father so i leave you with this beautiful blessing have a blessed day stay safe stay home om shanti